with the basics and see how to move forward. the faster you pedal. But be careful. The faster you go, the faster your energy drains away. Okay, thanks for letting me know that. Now we'll check the workings of your gear ratios. With the high gear ratio, you can go even faster. So, how do you change gears? Perfect. A high gear ratio allows you to increase your effort and ride faster. Use it when you want to increase the distance between yourself and other riders, or when the pace of the race is high. Let's go on to the attack. To attack, or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. Let's go on to the attack. To attack, or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. to the attack. To attack, or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm getting it. Making my thumb sore, but I'm getting it. Come on. Let's go on to the attack. To attack, or follow an attack, you God, must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go on to the attack. To attack, or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle which consumes your attack gauge. Let's go on to the attack. To attack or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. to the attack. To attack or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. Let's go on to the attack. To attack or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. Stay on the 
Legacy Mine. Great attack. The high gear ratio allows you to make more powerful attacks. Their effectiveness also depends on your race day condition. The better your race day condition, the more effective they will be. When your attack gauge is empty, reduce your speed. Now, take a careful look at the wind. Since the start, it has been a headwind. We'll soon turn left, and so take the wind from the side. to have five riders between you and the oncoming wind so that you are protected and save energy. If you are very poorly protected, the protection shield will flash. Let's talk about feeds. Before each stage, you can choose two feeds. They allow you to recover some energy during the race. Okay, so what's the difference between those feeds? Choose your feeds according to the race strategy you intend to adopt for the stage. Red to attack, or blue to ride for longer, for example. I think I'll go blue. We are approaching the feed zone. Your second feed will become available here. If you have not used your first feed before the end of this zone, it will be lost. Approaching the feed zone. Your second feed will become available here. If you have not used your first feed before the end of this zone, it will be lost. The feed zone is generally located in the middle of a stage. This is a factor to be taken into account when you choose your feeds before the stage. We'll soon attack a small climb. If you want to know the exact slope, you can look at the percentage. percent and above it's getting serious and good climbing attributes are required to play a leading role let's have a look at management of effort and energy I'll ask you to fully empty your gauges in order to test the effects of a blow-up it's best to avoid a blow-up. But if it does happen, you should reduce effort to a minimum in order to recover more quickly. Focus to follow the right trajectory and to break at the right time. If the trajectory is red, it means you're going too fast and you're likely to fall. Excellent. To optimize your descent, you must use your brakes wisely to avoid having to brake hard and then waste energy by having to accelerate again. Okay, that's, when you that's see long downhill straights, you can stop pedaling and put yourself in an aerodynamic position. If the slope is steep enough, you can pick up some speed. Thank you. 
When you see long downhill straights, you can stop pedaling and put yourself in an aerodynamic position. If the slope is steep enough, you can pick up some speed. Okay, this position is useful in a descent because it allows you to reduce your wind resistance and, therefore, to improve your protection when you're alone or at the head of a group. If you're uncomfortable on descents or in technical sections, you can sit behind another rider and follow him. He will serve as your locomotive. Watch out, because in auto mode, you cannot follow a rider who attacks or sprints. You must also be careful because your energy decreases even in auto mode. We're almost finished. We just have to check that your team comm is working okay. It is a very important tool that allows you to give instructions to all your team riders. When you use it, auto mode is enabled. We're almost finished. We just have to check that your team comm is working okay. It is a very important tool that allows you to give instructions to all your team riders. When you use it, auto mode is enabled. We're almost finished. We just have to check that your team comm is working okay. It is a very important tool that allows you to give instructions to all your team riders. When you use it, auto mode is enabled. Okay, team comm okay, is working. I'd advise you to have a look at the manual to get a description of each instruction. Team comm also allows you to take control of another team rider. When the team comm menu is open, you can change rider when you want. Team also allows you to take control of another team rider. When the team comm menu is open, you can change rider when you want. Oh, crap, I don't team comm also allows you to take control of another team rider. When the team comm menu is open, you can change rider when you want. rider will always let you be at the heart of the action. For example, if your current rider is too tired, you can swap to control a rider who has more energy. But be careful. If you ride too fast, you cannot use Team Com. Perfect. You are ready for the tour. If you want to develop certain points, discover advanced features, or just learn more about the Tour de France, you can access the manual from the main menu.